And neuroscientists and behavioral psychologists uh, say that there are two main factors that affect our success in life. One is the level of our intellect, and the other one is willpower. Unfortunately, there is very little we can do about the level of our intellect. We are born with the IQ that we have, and it changes very little during the course of our life. But willpower, we can do a lot about. If we know what and how to do, we can develop it, evolve it, strengthen it, and use it to achieve our goals, conquer habits that are unhealthy and undesirable, and adopt new habits that are healthier and we would like to achieve. So the question is, what is this willpower? Where does it sit inside our brain? How does it work? How can we develop it? Are we born with a certain amount of it? Do we reach a certain equilibrium by the time we get to adulthood? Or can we get more of it whilst we are already in our adult life? So I want to stop, pause here for a moment and ask you to think about what would your life be like if you had double the amount of willpower that you have today? What would it mean for your careers? What would it mean for your relationships with your loved ones, your family life, your social life? What would it mean for your wellness? Just take 30 seconds to think about the relationship between your willpower and the key dimensions of your life. And now, what would happen if you had no willpower at all, or very little of this? What would the impact of this be on your life? What would your career look like? What your relationships would look like? Assume you had literally half or quarter of the willpower that you have today. What will be the impact? So this evening, I want to take you on a willpower journey to help you understand what it is and how we can manage it to maximize the benefit to ourselves, to our success in life, in whichever way we define success. Okay, excellent. So the first one is about willpower. So what is willpower and where does it sit inside our brain? And scientists with the advent of uh, imaging, fMRI, uh, magnetic resonance imaging, uh, were able to identify the area in the brain where willpower actually sits. And that is what uh, neurologists call the prefrontal cortex, the area right in front of our brains, right here. And that area is responsible uh, for the key executive functions of our brain. And those functions are numerous. It's a highly complex and highly networked uh, system and is responsible for our long-term uh, goal planning, uh, complex problem analysis, emotional regulation, uh, our uh, attention management, action initiation, uh, situational assessment, uh, social appropriateness, what we can and should do, social